Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm super excited to do another indie deck review. This is the Tanem Oracle, the Filipino Botanical Oracle deck by Chingay Labrador. Uh, she is the creator of the Practical Magic Tarot and the Pinoy Practical Magic Tarot, which I've reviewed both on this channel before, and if you're interested, you can always check out my deck review playlist. Okay, so uh, this is one of her newer decks, and yes, I did have to get it shipped from the Philippines, the PI, and you know, I'm all about uh, supporting indie deck creators, and especially if I can support creators um, from <laughs> basically where my family's from, you know, then I'm all about that too. So uh, this was the little, I guess, like title card or um, slip that came with it. Just talks a little bit about it. Um, so a lot of this uh, Filipino flora, um, the flowers that you'll see in here are for the most part not native here in the United States. It's you know in the Philippines and in other um, countries of a, a very similar climate and I think that's interesting you know especially for for me because you know it's where a good portion of my family is from and for me I've I've never been to the Philippines. My brother has been there and I do want to make a trip there and kind of see like where my grandfather is buried because he, he had gone uh, back towards the ends of his life, um, you know, to Cebu. And so um, for me, this is a way of connecting to, you know, my dad's side of the family. Um, so I really appreciate this. And plus, you know, um, there are other decks, you know, that I, I don't, you know, share ancestry with that, you know, have flora and stuff like that from there and I just think it's just interesting to be able to connect to uh, plants and flowers and and things like that from different cultures I think they just have a, a unique energy to to reading so I don't think you necessarily have to be Filipino uh, or have you know Pinoy descent or anything like that and to be able to work with this deck it's just the energy of the pictures and you know what's coming through and I think that that's fantastic what came with this was actually some really cool washi tape uh, that has a lot of the uh, flowers that are depicted throughout this deck. So I can't wait to use that in my bullet journal. But okay, so it came in this little kind of burlap sack here. This woven little pouch. And these are your standard tarot size. And here are the backs. Oops. There we go. We have the Tanim written back there. So if you read Oracle cards in reverse, obviously it would be a little hard to do that, but uh, I'm not one that reads uh, Oracle in reverse. Um, and then it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, and that's just because it is coated uh, to protect the cards. I wouldn't say it's the thickest uh, cardstock. It is quite bendy. But I wouldn't call it flimsy either. I, I would say it's somewhere in between uh, a sturdy cardstock and a thin cardstock. Like it's right in the middle there. But it's really good if you're a riffle shuffler, side shuffler. Um, I've used this deck uh, quite a bit since I, I got it a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm super happy with it. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the images. So you will see that uh, the name of the plant is up top here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it that way. I'll let me just kind of bring it up for you. Um, and then you have the, the Latin name and everything there, but that's the name of the plant. And then down at the bottom, uh, you have uh, the meaning in Tagalog, but you also have it in English. So just so you guys kind of understand that. But the images, I, I love that they have that black background. So it really makes the um, flowers the plants pop on here and I love that there's a, a softness to the images um, but there's also a vibrancy to the colors so again you know remember so the name of the plant is there you have the the Latin word uh, you have the um, meaning in English and in Tagalog. I 
I just love how beautiful these images are. And I, it's like, you know, the energy coming through when I connect it with the, um, you know, words or your know, word down there where it says discover your story and, and you're trying to connect to this plant. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I feel that connection, even though I haven't grown up with these plants, like I feel that connection It's just so cool. Like this totally looks like cool down. <laughs> you know, I, I think that the, um, the phrases and the key word, some of them just have one word like this one, reduce, uh, totally matches the energy of the plant. And I consider myself a green witch. So I do work with plants and, and uh, flowers and, and stuff like that in my spells and um, a lot of my meditations. It's just, you know, I've always just had a, a connection with uh, plants and stuff like that. So well, using decks like these, these are really wonderful for me because I can also use them in um, my practice. Not only like to read oracle cards, but also like in um, like the, my magical creations and stuff like that. like that one wait <laughs> All right, so just for funsies, let's go ahead and pull a card for you guys. So not only do you get a review, but also you get a little mini reading too. Um, so if this connects with you, awesome. If it doesn't, that's fine. I hope that you were just able to see some lovely images and the reason I, I make these videos is not so people can go out and like, you know, buy all the decks in the world, but you know, maybe you might be interested in a deck, an indie deck that, you know, is maybe outside of your country or maybe you are, uh, have some ancestral roots in the Philippines and maybe this in, you know, is interesting for you. Oops. That looks like it's going to be our card. Um, or maybe, you know, you're just here to look at some lovely images in which case I hope that, uh, you were able to get what it was that you, you needed out of this video. Okay, so taking a look at the card that kind of popped out here, we have Dap Dap and B Sharp. <laughs> I mean, that just, it looks like B Sharp. So what I'm getting here is uh, those of you that are working on projects, those of you that are maybe in school as a student right now, um, um, anything that requires, the, anything that you're doing that requires um, a lot of your attention and focus, now is the time to make sure that you are really on point with what it is that you are doing um, and not allowing little distractions to um, allow your work to become sloppy or um, less than stellar, you know, you're, you're capable of doing quite a bit and doing a really awesome job. So don't let, um, the influence of too much time on social media or, you know, finding other things to do except for the job at hand, distract you from doing that awesome job. So now's the time to be sharp. So again, whether you are a student, you're working on a project or, you know, um, there's, uh, something that just requires a lot of detailed attention. This is just a reminder to uh, not slack off. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like I said, if you were just here for some awesome images, I'm glad you, I, am, I hope that, you know, this was uh, able to fulfill your need for just looking at some beauty. Um, otherwise, if you were looking at maybe pur purchasing this deck, I will put all the information down below. Again, this was created by Chingay Labrador. And this is the Tanum uh, or Tanum Oracle, a Filipino botanical oracle deck. All right, so that's it for me, spiritual homies. Uh, if you want to catch a reading for me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have a lot of different reading types. I also have my bracelets that I make. I have my room of body sprays. I have my salves. Um, I have my travel witch altar pendants, ancestral altar pendants, 
rainbow bridge altar pendants to honor your furry feathery scaly loved ones and I also have my own oracle deck uh, which was community created and community funded this is the wally's world oracle that's my little wally walito there um and uh i have a newsletter on my website as well um, it's totally free and I hit your inbox on the first of every month. I do not email you anything else. That's the only time I email you anything. <laughs> so I don't play the spam game. It's just witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, channels that I'm watching, tea that I'm drinking, herbs that I'm using, etc., etc. If that interests you, then definitely sign up uh, to my newsletter. Again, that's on my website, kittensweightsandtarot.com. And, and, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I have, I have a mystery school that's going to be opening its doors, uh, in about two to three weeks. My teachers are diligently working on their curriculum right now. I'm so freaking excited about it. Um, I am actually going to be teaching Mayan astrology, uh, but that's only going to be one of the seven different courses that you'll be able to take a gander at and possibly take, uh, at my Leon mystery school. So. Um, there's little bits of information on my website right now, but uh, the web website isn't or the web page for the school isn't fully complete because, uh, you know, not everybody's ready to go quite yet. But like I said, we'll be ready in about two to three weeks. So stay tuned for more information on that. Um, and if you want to throw a little of my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kitten sweets and tarot. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love and chicken grease. Peace out.